Leg and Greg Vegan Camp, the 28th of August 2019. Redrying some of the washing nuts because they are they get moldy. Otherwise, here in the rainy season, wet season, they need to be dried in the middle of the day so, so they don't get moldy. Still have some longan, organic longan on the trees. The rains finally came and the soil is really, really wet. We have some dragon fruit, but they're quite small. It will be ripe soon. The Mexican spinach fence works really, really well. Sweet corn! So this is the sweet corn that Leg bought so that we can eat it raw. I'm not sure why this is special for raw eating, but it's maybe it's a special type. Giant passion fruit. Durian nursery. Banana palms being cut down because they're infected by some kind of bug. So it's not so good. So I made a little um, protective um, area for the pumpkin. Now they have spread all over here. So it's quite amazing how the pumpkin can like spread really rapidly if it has the right conditions. And the cool about this pumpkin is it hasn't, it didn't, it wasn't planted there. I think there were a couple of seeds in the compost or something, and then it grew by itself. And then when you protect something that grows by itself, it seems to do better than than when you plant it somewhere where, yeah, where you want to try to grow it on on purpose. So, and even though we planted like hundreds of pumpkin plants around here in the garden near the mango trees, there's only very few spots where they actually survived. It has been so dry before, so. Maybe now it should be we should plant it. <laughs> These bean plants are the ones that try to protect because they will give a lot of beans and beans are so nice when they're fresh from the from the garden from the plants. Like most other vegetables and fruits they are just nice when they're fresh and from the directly from the mother plant. A couple of days ago I planted this a red banana. I hope it will grow well here. 